Yo, what's up guys? It's Zeke Dari back at you with another video. Today we're gonna be doing a reaction video. <laughs> we're gonna be reacting to six vegans versus one secret meat eater. Alright, so let's get this. Let's get this going. Anybody what's your favorite candy? Most candies without gelatin in it. Name one. Nerd Sour Nate, Patch just Kids. Name one. Sour Patch Kids. Oh, okay, those aren't why vegan. are you so aggressive? I feel like that person is definitely a vegan. We brought together seven vegans. I am vegan. I am vegan. I'm a vegan. I am vegan. I am a vegan. I am a vegan. I am vegan. One is a liar. If the group Ooh. discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, he or she wins the entire prize. Okay. Okay, Brandon, yes. what do you eat for She just goes straight to Brandon. For this morning I had buckwheat, buckwheat hot cereal, add almond milk and some water. Okay. Who eats buckwheat in the morning? Like I know people do, but I'm looking at Well, I need I need to see what is buckwheat. Bro, I, I am not eating that for breakfast. Like you can have that. I'm not gonna eat that for breakfast. Him and his body language and how he's telling me and I'm going, you just had buckwheat. Why is she so mean? Like he he does him, you know? for breakfast and I feel like that's a normal thing but everyone acted like it was a weird thing um I'll be honest I eat everything on bread I have to because like I just I'm a recent vegan I've been vegan for like five months it's a challenge I did for myself I have a question what are right. y'all's favorite restaurants did you guys check out North Hollywood this is this like awesome it's really like, it's Cajun vegan Oh yes, uh, yes. You know, um, dude, I literally been taking. Oh my gosh, I talk, I took it? my friend Hannah. Uh, She's uh, actually uh, a big uh, YouTuber something. as well. Everything. <laughs> His friend Hannah. He's like this guy. That guy's kind of sus. I don't know. We'll see. Out of his mouth was super random. Brandon, what's your yeah. favorite restaurant? Bro, she keeps going to Brandon. Like, what? Leave him alone. Baby. I go to Taco Bell all the time. What do you get at Taco Bell? I get a crunch wrap, but swap out the beef and get some beans in there. See, also swap out the sour cream and the cheese. And yeah. So he just gets bread and beans from Taco Bell. Like you can make eggs in their like, like in their wraps. I hope they don't. Yeah, I hope they don't either I'm, because then that wouldn't be vegan. Bro, why is she like? Like he he's not as a try hard vegan as you are. Like you have to accept that there's different levels to being a vegan. There's some people aren't like as serious about it as others. She's like, come on, like let him be, let him do him. She's, she's in people's business. I don't know so why annoying. she's coming at me. I don't know if it's like yeah. the way I look. I don't look like a vegan. Um, why is everyone here a vegan? I'm vegan because I actually moved out here. I felt like I was like, all right, if I mess up, I can keep on doing it. So I challenged myself on five months in and I was like, all right, I'm gonna continue doing it. Cause if you I guys, don't... we have four minutes left. Sorry oh, to interrupt yeah, sorry you, but we have four that. minutes. Sorry. I want to hear from oh, other sorry. people. Sorry. I want to know. The only reason I did it can is you... because I wanted to. Can, can you? Can you? Just, we got. Sorry. We got it. Sorry. 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 Let's go around. Yeah. Jalen was just taking up all the time so that I couldn't find any information. Because of the environment, I think the meat and dairy industry just contributes way too much to our environmental issues, and so that's why I decided to go vegan. I've been vegan for almost three years. I kind of just followed like blogs and stuff, and then I found out I had like high cholesterol. I like cold turkey, just like quit it. The more I learned about it and educated myself, the more I wanted to keep going. I initially went vegan for my health, for my skin. It's kind of helped, it hasn't helped that much, but I think just when I was doing it, I was like, why go back? Kind of like you, like, I could do yeah. it, and I don't think These there was a good huge, valid like, reasons. pressing environmental factor. It was just like, I can do it right now, so it's, why exactly go back? Doing, and it's like been good, so it's almost been like a year, so kind of similar to you. Good, good job, yeah. man. I uh, became vegan for um, animal cruelty reasons. It's a whole bunch These of stuff you know you can go reasons. into, but yeah, for animal reasons and environmental reasons and health reasons. So I've been vegan for almost 10 years combined. Um, I was drinking heavily and I just wanted to be feeling like better in my body. So I took a yoga class, went vegan overnight, went raw vegan for two years, uh, became a raw food mm -hmm. chef. I'm a yoga teacher now, um, yeah. I went vegan kind of as like a transition. I was pescatarian for 10 years. Um, 
and we have two minutes. Um, I so, want to. We have. Some, oh, not. I want to cut you off. Yeah, I want to ask specific so, questions to people. More. What is your favorite documentary oh. that helped you go with the? Oh, help me go vegan. I kind of watch like those YouTube ones. Which ones? Like what? What name one? I, bro. People have so much going on in their life. They're not gonna remember the name of the documentary they watch. Like, come on. That's way too hard. I can't remember. I have horrible memories. I like saw them in the blogs that I was talking about, and like which blog? Um, it was called. It was like this girl. Her name. Just because they can't remember the name of the the vlogs or the documentaries doesn't mean they're not vegan. Like, come on. So I'm like, hmm. You don't know what blog. You don't know what post. You don't know this. You don't. No, you don't know anything. How would you remember them getting cut up? Six. Red light. So, like, <laughs> She had a little more makeup on and she had nail polish on. And so, I guess in my head, I think maybe yeah. let's just go for the more natural sort of look. I was like looking for some cues and like what people were wearing and who was wearing like suede shoes. Most like vegans don't really wear leather. Yeah, that's a good clue. Uh, bro, what? How is she out? Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Nice Bye. to know you guys. <laughs> I was really shocked. I think I was a little bit shy in the beginning. When Aaron was grilling me, um, I just got really nervous. And like, I forgot the names of everything. Look at this. this is, she's so mean to them. She needs to relax, OK? Like, why are you going to be like that? Thing, and I was like, there's cameras here, and like, everyone's watching me, and like, the time is ticking. And what is your favorite soap that you use? Bro, I am trying to remember what kind of soap I use. I doubt he remembers what kind of soap he uses either. Like, who remembers? Oh, yeah, I, I use this type of soap. Like, what? Oh, my gosh. I'm more <sighs> vegan for, like, food-related reasons. Yeah, see, this is what I'm saying. It's, like, different levels of being vegan. It's not like everybody's the same. Like... Right, but stuff. typically, like, if you're vegan, yeah, then you know, know. you... She, she thinks that there's, like, one type of vegan. You could be different, like, levels of vegan. That makes no sense. Is all your products that you love? I identify as vegan, but I do it more so for food-related reasons, not exactly. Because I, like, did it for my health. So I that's actually why. fully agree with you. Yeah. Do you wear leather? Uh, I don't own leather. It's interesting. I own leather, but I don't buy leather. It's leather that has been bought years ago that I still have that I feel is kind of like wasteful to like throw away. The important thing is you don't buy yeah. leather because we vote with our dollars. Exactly. I think like in this circle, like there would still be people who like identify themselves as vegan, even if it's like food related or like something else. Like the range. Just like, but, there's like cool. levels. Yeah, yeah but I think like the odd man out see, wouldn't. See, these guys are like smart. There's levels. Aaron here thinks that there's like one level of being vegan and they're all the same someone who like yeah. is like me like just doing it for food. You guys, yeah, yeah, you guys guys ask me questions too. I like questions. No, that, no way he just said that. He did not just say that. I like questions. Oh my God. We know you do. Do we eat honey? <laughs> Dude, I actually I'm don't even like, I don't eat honey. True. Yeah. I, I don't. I just don't at all. I eat honey, oh, but honey isn't vegan. I think they made me feel like my reason for being Come on. that they were. I have a question. Yeah. So, okay, everyone think about the immediate circle. How many folks in your circle are vegan? I'm supported by my circle. Yeah. Like, they thought I was unhealthy at first because mm -hmm. I wasn't getting enough to eat. Mm -hmm. um, and I had horrible gas issues. I'm, that was, that was, I was bad. But, um, <laughs> I mean, I actually real, didn't even know that was a thing. So, it's it's, like, I it's mean. real dog. So far, you've said that you don't really consider yourself vegan I think because if I of were the vegan. products. Oh, stop you going at my boy Brandon. Yeah. And then I feel you like eat if I were lying, Bell. I would like go like the extra mile and like lie and like. Say a lot of stuff, but you know, like I'm just like being real with you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I try I'm, my best. So how to, many like, be how many vegan. years have you been vegan? Oh no, it's been like less than a year, like eight months. Actually, the the fresco style at Taco Bell is supposed to be vegan. I did, he didn't mention that. He said that he got the taco and then he removed everything, and then yeah. he mentioned that later on. I've seen vegan YouTubers who like go to Taco, Taco Bell like and like can make vegan it vegan, vegan just to show yeah. people that like it can be Not like convenient. Minutes, I don't know why you guys are. Uh, just, <laughs> trying to yeah, tell me about <laughs> Oh, bro, she's so angry. No, Wait, just, we have two minutes and left. Del Taco yeah. also has Del Taco, Del Taco has the, the Beyond Meat. Why don't you I go like there if you're vegan? Del Taco's trash, that's why. 
That's why. I thought Air was pretty aggressive. But so in all aggressive. the best ways for a game like this, like she asked all the like heavy that, hitting questions, okay, yeah. which is I, I guess exactly if you're to win, um, how it should have been. Anybody What's your favorite candy? My favorite candy? Most candies without gelatin in it. Nerds. Like name one. Name one. Nerds, Sour Nate, Patch name Kids. One. Sour Patch. He, he did name one. He's like nerds. And she's like, no, just name one. Like, it's, okay, those aren't yeah. vegan. Sour Patches? I thought they were. Do they cheese. not have do they have gelatin in them? I okay. Maybe I'm not a vegan. Mm. I don't like I don't I don't <laughs> Man, they all just like ruin Brandon streams. Like come on. I thought they were. But I mean, you know. What's your favorite candy? I don't eat candy. Really? She yes, I, I I'm not surprised she doesn't eat candy. Like I'm not surprised. She doesn't she doesn't like fun. Yeah, I don't. It didn't seem that his ethics and his values were in alignment with the diet because typically when you are vegan, everything surrounding you matches that. Bro, he's not that tired. Like, come on. Bye, guys. Bye, Brandon. See ya. I think she knows he's vegan, but she, just because he's not as tryhard of vegan as her, she just votes him out. I'm not like really a part of the vegan community, I feel like. I have one vegan friend. I could have had five vegan friends, but they voted me out, so. Oh, they voted him out of the script. No way. When you start questioning for Look, too early look, look. to tell. I think those are the obvious ones. Oh, it's true. Yeah. yeah. I think we need like one more. What are they saying? Wait, so what are they we saying? raise our hand if we think he's still in here? Yeah. I think they might. I don't know. <laughs> but why are they guys so excited? Relax. But no, I think no. Okay. Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the square. If the lights turn green, oh, this is the, the liar piece. out. If the lights turn red, the liar's still in the box and you lose. Okay, everyone looks nervous, so I feel a little bit more secure in this. No! Oh, dang, oh, dog! Guys. I found him more secure. Oh, 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 it was him! We should have known! known. I, I said, I feel like I'm in jail! <laughs> yeah. That was mean. They just need some obnoxious. First round, getting thrown in, I was tested to see if I was going to trip up on my words, how much knowledge I actually had. I, I mean, like, he was if good. I go he first, did good. Can, like, respect. Speak the most and make it seem like an accident. So I just want time to run out. So it felt good because people got annoyed and they didn't want to hear from me. So they pushed me aside and started talking to everybody. Bro, else. he is smart. He has the knowledge on how to win. That was the best strat ever. I got. Okay, that's gonna wrap up today's video. It's a pretty aggressive, passive aggressive game, but the mole won, and they did very good, very good strategies. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's Nick Thorne, and peace.